As a biologist, there's one question I get frequently that reveals a misunderstanding about how science works. It usually goes something like this. Why don't we teach both evolution and creationism in science class? To answer this question, we first need to understand what a scientific theory is. It's not a guess. It's an explanation supported by a vast amount of evidence. It explains existing observations and makes predictions for further testing. So with every test, the theory can be falsified or supported. Examples are germ theory, cell theory, the theory of gravity, molecular theory, atomic theory. Evolutionary theory is the single most supported and unifying theory in all of the life sciences. It is as certain as science can get. It explains why living things are the same and why they're different. Without evolution, biology would just be a random collection of facts. As the famous quote goes, nothing in biology makes sense except in the light of evolution. Creationism, on the other hand, isn't a scientific theory. It's not even science because there's no way to falsify a supernatural creator. There is no test that we can devise that would disprove the existence of a creator. These distinctions are important in science class, but they're also important for how we communicate science. Our goal is to foster understanding, not to alienate. Framing this issue as evolution or God can feel like an attack on someone's identity. It's also a false choice. Evolution explains how life has changed over time through natural processes. Science cannot speak to the existence of a supernatural creator. The point for critical thinkers is to be able to distinguish between what science is and what it isn't. And ultimately to understand why creationism doesn't belong in the science classroom. Hi, Dimitri.